Sony, we have a problem. A problem with the Xperia Pro i and overheating when video recording. My findings and possible workaround. Let's talk about it. The usual recording times with Video Pro app are around 13 to 14 minutes, then it just shuts off. After around 8 to 10 minutes, you will get a big warning sign that saw, says that the device is overheating. And uh, yeah, this can happen also not only on recordings at one time, but also if you do multiple recordings one after another, you will get this overheating sign. And eventually, if you add up enough videos, it will stop functioning completely. Which kind of software did I use? I used the Video Pro app, but I also tried out the Photo Pro app in basic mode and got a little bit of a few minutes longer recording time with the Photo Pro app in basic mode for video recording. So under what conditions was I testing this on my Xperia Pro i? It was room temperature conditions, that means 22 uh, degrees Celsius, where I had this issue. The longest recording time was I think 17 minutes and uh, this was after turning off the uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and uh, mobile data, so basically going into airplane mode, so it can get you a little bit more of minutes out there. But what I found out is the major trick is just to get rid of any case that you have. This here in particular, for example, is a case that blocks the sides of the device. And this is very bad because the size, sides of the device are acting like passive cooling fans, just like you might have seen as radiators on your PC maybe. Uh, and this is super bad to have if it closes up. The official Sony case therefore has the sides at least open to get at least a little bit more of cooling happening. But the back is also important. If the back is closed, too closed, like on the official leather case from Sony, then it will also start overheating pretty quickly. So what you have to do is, and what I did manage to do, is getting longer recording times with out the case. So tip number one, if you don't want to have overheating warning, jumping in after only eight minutes of recording, take off your case and make sure nothing is majorly blocking the case, uh, the device itself and its surroundings. The other thing I tried to do is a software solution. Object tracking, for example, or face detection, eye detection, is using a little bit more power on this device. So I tried turning it off only with marginal differences. So object tracking is giving you a few minutes longer of recording time, uh, but yeah, eye detection, face detection, not really if you turn it off. There are maybe 30 seconds up to one minute longer recording times, but otherwise it doesn't really matter if you have them turned off or on. What I also tried out is setting up the display brightness to the lowest, which some Sony cameras do when recording to avoid overheating. But this didn't change much in terms of not overheating. I still got roughly the same times, 14 minutes, 13 minutes roughly for over overheating. So where it shut off completely. And this, keep in mind, 1080p, 60 frames per second only, not even 4K, where I could imagine this would be a problem. The format I was using here was H.264. If someone was like simply interested in this, but I also tried with H.265 and found no difference with this, which means that there's a general problem somehow using the camera apps Video Pro and Photo Pro for video recording anything 60 frames per second. Did this issue also happen in anything else like 4K 24, 4K 30 frames per second? No. I could record 4K 24 frames per second for more than 24 minutes and just stopped it because there was no overheating sign at all and it yeah, just keep going on and going on and on and on. 
and uh, the same for 30 frames per second I was recording 1080p 30 frames per second so no issue at all so if you're using your device in its default settings with the photo pro app for recording video or the video pro app for recording video you will not run into this issue only when you set up 60 frames per second and then it really doesn't matter 1080p or 4k 60 frames per second they're roughly the same in the same ballpark when it comes to the runtime so 4k or 1080p 60 frames per second it can already stop at eight minutes which is a bit of a bummer i had this sadly on some video recordings that i was doing a hint hint the cola video and uh, other phones i was testing as well and what i found out is that other smartphones like the xiaomi 11t that i used for the cola video recording did not suffer from this issue they recorded or it in particular recorded 12 minutes straight in 1080p 60 frames per second without big issues and there was a second take where it recorded eight minutes afterwards so 20 minutes total no problems 1080p 60 frames per second and this is basically what i expect of a smartphone to do sadly the xperia pro i cannot do it with its default software so what is the workaround i was talking about with the xperia pro i it is simple just use another camera software it is not the photo pro app in basic mode for video recording it is filmic pro for example i was able to record with filmic pro over 30 minutes in 1080p 60 frames per second on the main shooter and this is very very interesting because i figured out it might be not only an issue with the camera app itself but all the algorithms and maybe the bitrate as well so the device got also pretty warm i never got an overheating sign however when using filmic pro and it could be that there are different algorithms used for detection of the face for autofocus there's no object tracking of course in filmic pro but it's not the only thing i think also the megabit per second rate has something to do with it because i set filmic pro to its filmic default setting which is recording about 60 uh, megabit per second which is double the rate that the sony native apps usually do and this caused me no overheating warning at all so what is the conclusion now what can we expect from sony regarding this issue i really hope sony can do a firmware update a software update maybe the android 12 update will work on it to prevent such issues the other thing could be just an update for the video pro and uh, the photo pro app for video modes where we have maybe an option to say we want to have longer recording times and yeah either less quality video or better quality video less straining and less processing on the device itself uh, less quality maybe in the video but still the possibility to record a little bit longer so give this as an option otherwise we have to stick to other applications just like filmic pro but this is not really the solution for such an expensive device so sony really has to address this not with the next device but with this device sony was listening in regards to the video pro app created it what we wanted a cinema pro app for vloggers now sony please listen and improve it so far that we can use our super expensive phones to really vlog for more than eight minutes so what do you think about the xperia pro i overheating issue did you encounter it with the xperia pro i with the xperia 1 mark 3 5 mark 3 or any other xperia device do you think sony should finally address this did you try out filmic pro and did not have any overheating issues Thank me later uh, just write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye